What up, world? My name is Melvin Taylor. I am the creator, writer, executive producer, and star of a new short film called Baldy. Now, you may have seen me in the movie. It's like, I don't know what to do. Like, should I call her? Should I text her? A TV show with a cockpit is locked from the inside. Someone's in there. A commercial is each half of what I paid before. Or somewhere on YouTube. I'm a film and TV production assistant, an actor, as well as a writer. And today I'm here in front of you because we're gonna make a movie and I need your help to be able to do it. Now, this movie is gonna be about something I know more so than anybody else going bald. Before we get into why I'm making a movie about that, let's talk about why we're making a movie right now. As you know, the film and TV industry is shut down due to the WGA and SAG strikes, and rightfully so. That means that there are hundreds of thousands of people that are currently out of work. In light of that, I decided to develop one of my short films to the point where I'm here with you now. We want to show you that whether the studios give us the tools or not, we're going to find a way. I want everyone to be able to do something that they love. And this project is going to help the people on that team to be able to do so. Okay, so you understand why we're making the project right now. Next, you need to know who's going to make it with us because we need more than just me and you. Combined, we have over 50 years of film and TV experience. And this is the first of a couple projects we plan on putting together. Our director is Eddie Griffith, a proud DGA member that I met on the set of Bros the Movie. And he has a keen sense of where the story needs to go. Aaron Trout is our DP, and she's a wizard at what she does. Our team of producers consists of some of the coolest people I've met. This group has not only worked on and completed several short films, but has racked up a number of awards for doing so. Not to mention, they've worked on productions like Creed 3, No Sudden Moves, Bros, Journal for Jordan, and just like that. Westworld, City on a Hill, you, many, many more. Can we, can we FaceTime Eddie right now? Eddie! Come on, bro. Six hours later. Hey, I'm Eddie Griffith, director of Baldy. So I got involved with Baldy after reading the script. I thought it was funny and I thought it was a fresh take on confidence, a fresh take on a black man dealing with his confidence, a fresh take on how we view ourselves, vanity, and beauty standards. This is a great story to tell in displaying a black man coming into his own, coming into his confidence, a black man dealing with his own vulnerability issues, being vulnerable with himself, being vulnerable to his friends and family, and how that all relates to his confidence. And I think that's a really good story. And we haven't really seen that yet in a hilarious way. You know who's on the squad with you and I. Now let me tell you why we're making this film. Back in college, I felt like I was on top of the world. Yeah, I played basketball, ran track, while also being vice president of the Black Student Union. But none of that touched me finally fulfilling my lifelong dream of growing out my hair into an afro. Boy, let me tell you. So imagine just how big of a cliff I fell off one day when I noticed the front of my hairline had begun to recede. As quickly as I felt on top of the world, I had fallen off it hard. To make matters worse and true to life, I was even called out on several dates and called a hatfish about not removing my hats when out with them. But how could I if nobody knew what I was truly feeling? In this story, a young man named Travis is facing the one thing that is running away from him, his receding hairline. If he grapples with his self-image, he must decide whether to embrace his change in his life by discovering the power of a shiny bald head or continue to measure his experiences by accepting clubs and parties that allow him to keep his hat indoors. There's so many people that have and are currently dealing with hair loss and the depression that comes from it. I wanted to create a comedic vehicle that can show them you have a tribe that you can lean on, whether that's your fellow bald people or your family and friends that can understand as long as you're honest about opening up to them. Our budget right now is $15,000. If we're able to shave this off, then we'll be able to make this movie with a good number of resources. Now, that's our regular goal. Our stretch goal is $25,000. And being able to do so, not only will we be able to make this film with a number of high quality resources, we'll also be able to pay our PAs, pay the rest of our crew, pay for some great marketing, some great distribution, so that way it can reach a wide audience and ensure that everybody's having a safe and fun time. I'm doing this project to help my fellow ball folks raise everyone's spirits about not working right now, and show the world that regardless if the studios give us the tools that we need to make this or not, we do this because we love it. Because it ain't no business without the show. Thank y'all so much. And as always, stay blessed, stay favored, and always stay tailored. If you got a dream, see it through, and I will see your name in our contribution list. Peace and love.